Jim, I, I, I've been here for six and a half years. You're kidding me. Listen, you come in late, the work you do is not that great, and this new guy has some nice qualifications. Jim, you don't know what I'm going through right now. I need this job. I'm sorry, Greg. Tell him I'm ready for it. Boss wants. Hey, thank you. Nice to see you again, John. You're hired. Thank you. Is there anything else? Is there anything I need to know or do? Or... No. See you tomorrow morning. Thank you very much, sir. Hey, congrats. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Sure will. Jim, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I can't come in today. What? John, this is your second day. Yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm not really feeling too good. All right. Don't make this a regular thing, all right? All right, thanks. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Take care of it. Hey, I thought you were sick. Oh yeah, it was my head. It was, it was killing me. I had to take something. Okay. All right. Just get back to work, right? Sir, I'm uh, Detective Daniels. Are you John Hanson? Yes, I am. Sir, I'm sorry to inform you, you're in a lot of trouble. We uh, found this note at the bank. Would you read that for me? If you want the money, if you want the money back, come to my house. I live on 33 Pine Avenue. Sincerely, John Hanson. I didn't write this. Sir, where's the money? It's in my house. Look, I, I didn't steal it. I, I found it on my front steps. Oh, you found it. Right. That That's believable because Fox's money just just land on people's front porches. Mr. Hanson, you're going to have to you're going to have to work on your story a little bit, sir. Look, I, I walked outside. I saw it on my front porch. I opened it. I don't know where it came from. Well, you you've had it for a day now. If you didn't take the money, what were you going to do with it? I don't know. Money doesn't normally just fall on your porch. No, Mr. Hanson, no. Money doesn't usually act that way. It doesn't just land on people's porches, which is it's making this story real hard to believe. Now, why the heck would you leave a note at the bank telling us how to find you? I didn't leave the note. I didn't take the money. Somebody must have set me up. Right, Mr. Hanson, that's, that's real good. How about we just cut all this act and you show me where the money is? Well, 
Mr. Hanks. I'm going to have to take this back to the bank. Uh, we're going to run some forensics on it, check for prints, you know, just the usual routine. Uh, we can't arrest you right now. We don't have enough evidence. But don't think you're off the hook. I didn't take the money. It landed on my right, porch. Right, yeah, have a good one. that job we were talking about. Thank you. When you get a chance, give me a call. Hey, Jim, open up your door. Uh, you left early. That's impossible. I wasn't even... Hey, John. Why did you set me up? Why did you take that money from the bank? You stole the money from the bank. You wrote the note. Why? Because you're mad? You, you want your job back? Man, what is wrong with you? Oh, you're, you're freaking me out here. You stole the money from the bank. No, I'm, I'm already looking for another job. I was, I was going to leave that place anyway. Don't lie to me, Greg. I did not set you up. Uh, what don't you get? I don't get why you are so immature. That's what I don't get. You get fired, and then you try to get me fired? Man, what is look, your problem? Look, I told you, I don't care about that job. Now you get out of my house. Hey, guess who just came by? Yeah, he's leaving. No, 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 no we're, we're good. Hi, Detective Daniels. Did you find out anything? Well, we analyzed the note, the box, the bills, and, and all of it had your fingerprints. Well, no kidding. Well, hold on, let me finish. We, uh, we tracked the note back to some fingerprints of this man. Uh, I knew it! I knew it was this guy! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know this guy? Yeah, I, I, I took his job. He's trying to frame me so he can get his job back. Okay, that explains it. Explains what? Well, we just went to his house and arrested him. He was screaming some nonsense about his wife being in the hospital and this and that. I mean, but you know, people do crazy things for cash. Yeah, so it's taken care of now. Oh yeah, sure is, sure is. But uh, I'm not gonna lie there, for, for a moment we thought we were working with the crazy guy. And Greg, he's in prison? Oh yeah, for about uh, three years, I think. What about his wife? She's in the hospital. Who's going to be taking care of her? Well, I mean, she's got cancer, and uh, she needs chemo, and that's, you know, he can't pay for that, so what are you going to do, right? Yeah, right. Uh, all right. Well, thank you, officer. Thank you. Detective. Daniels. Thank you. Daniels! What is it? I want to bail him out. You want to what? You want to bail this moron out? Yes, I do. I guess you are a little crazy. Um, that's what you want to do. I mean, hey, when you, you get him, could you drive him back to my house? Yeah, I, I can. I mean, do you realize what you're doing? Yes, I do. So, uh, pr prison's a bad place, huh? Yeah, 
see any weird people there. Hey, you know, if I were you, I'd be pretty happy right now. Oh, oh yeah, I should be happy. I've got a wife sitting in a hospital bed with cancer. I've got no job. I've got no way to pay for her care unless I win the lottery or find a job or something. Yeah, yeah, I should be happy. That's good. Looks like we're here, okay? Just go, uh, just go knock on the door. Forget it. I am not doing this. No. Hey, Greg. Hold what? On. What? I bailed you out. I set you up. I framed you. I stole the money from the bank. You bailed me out. Look, just come in. I I'll tell you about it. What do you want? You hungry? You thirsty? Is there anything I can get you? Uh, what do you do? I know what you're going through right now. Oh yeah, yeah, you know what I'm going through. You've got a wife in the hospital with cancer. You've got no job, no money to pay for what she needs. Yeah, sure, you know what I'm going through. I had a wife. She died of cancer. Look, I bailed you out so you could spend time with her. I want to give you this. Wait, I... I... Wait, this is $25,000. Look, financially, I'm good. Um, you know, I, this job ain't gonna work out. I quit. Jim will probably give you your job back. You quit? Thank you so much. Hey, if people were perfect, there'd be no need for forgiveness. So, even though you framed me, I forgive you. That guy is a total idiot. I kind of liked him. <laughs> so how much do we make? Twenty-five grand. Right. <laughs> but now, I'm not going to lie to you. I felt a little bad for my fake wife. <laughs> I got too emotional about it, all right? Let me see that next resume. What do we got? I think you like it. Huh. Yeah, all right, John. You ready? Yeah, he's, he's coming out right now, OK? Yeah. I see him. I'm ready. All right. Hello. Oh, hey, Greg. It's John. J just called to see how your wife is doing. Oh, uh, hey, John. Um, um, yeah, yeah, she's, she's doing great. I can't thank you enough for what you did. Well, you know, having gone through something like that, I, I, I had to do something. She's still in the hospital, right? Yeah, I actually said, uh, they, they said she should be out in a couple weeks. You know, it's funny though. Um, hey, what's that? I, I went to the hospital the other day. Uh, I found where your wife's room was. Guess what, Greg? I pulled the plug. I pulled the plug that was keeping her alive. Uh, wait, are you crazy? What? Hey, Greg, come on, enough. How can I pull the plug on someone who doesn't even exist? Uh. Well? Yeah, well, I'm pulling the plug out of your operation. Well, Greg, you're under arrest. John, I'll chase him. You wrap around. Got it. John, this is it. Okay, I, I, I see him. Greg, you're under arrest. Hey, 
Hey, do you mind if I say something? Um, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Hey, Greg, even though you framed me and take a bunch of money from me, I still want you to know I forgive you. Thanks. Oh, yeah, about the money. Uh, John, uh, you weren't able to find that check you gave him, so I don't know what else there is to do, really. Okay, well, thanks. Hey, call me if it shows up, okay? Absolutely. See you, okay? Bye. Right. Well, that worked out perfectly, huh? It sure did. You got the check, right? Uh, right here. All right, good. So the next uh, victim takes us over to um, 45 Cedar Drive. It's an older woman looking for some part-time work, and apparently she is loaded. <laughs> older woman loaded? Okay, sounds good. Right. Let's hope it's as easy as this last one, huh? 